I am sure that you, like many others out there, have noticed that modern art is shit. You have probably, at some point, been pressured into saying that modern art is profound and glorious, because if you don't, you would be shunned by your peers, but I say we should stand up against this madness, this madness which is the globalist cultural Marxist agenda which has been seeking to indoctrinate our youth through modern art and popular culture. If you don't believe me, just watch these videos by Paul Jordan Owen. He beautifully summarizes why. We should be wary of the cultural Marxist global elite. Their disgusting lizard claws have dug in deep into our culture and society, and we need to stand up against this. Which is why I have decided to make a video which is a sort of art critique comparing modern art with the traditional classics. You might be wondering what makes me such an authority on this subject. Well, actually, I have a GCSE in art and design. Therefore, I have the expertise and the experience necessary to speak with confidence and come to the conclusion that modern art is indeed fucking terrible. Well, for the most part. There are a few 21st century pieces that I would consider on par with the classics, and I'll get to them in this video as well, just to be a fair representation. So don't tell me that I am biased, you fucking trigger warning safe space motherfuckers. Anyway, without further ado, let's start with one of the greatest pieces of art ever made, the Mona Lisa. This piece was drawn by Leonardo da Vinci, and you know what, it's pretty good. Mona Lisa herself, eh, I mean, I'd give her a quick snog, I guess, but I wouldn't go to bed with her. She has no eyebrows for one, but you know what, that's better than fucking modern women with their fake horrible eyebrows, ugh. Anyway, the colors are nice, and there is no, there's no wonder why thousands of people come to see this at the Louvre, or whatever the fuck it's called. It's, it's a nice drawing, so props to Leonardo. He, he really did a good job on this one. So what's the modern equivalent of this? Well, you're not gonna like it. This is a piece by Banksy and come on, this is just a fucking copy of the Mona Lisa. Only this time, she has a rocket propelled grenade launcher, which I admit is pretty cool. If that was in the original, I'd probably like it more, but it was not in the original. You should have made your own fucking artwork. It's just lazy, and this one doesn't even have colour in it. Everything about this just screams plagiarism and laziness. It's horrible. Why do people like Banksy's work? Well, let's look at some of his other stuff. <laughs> what the fuck is this Occupy Wall Street Black Lives Matter motherfucker? He's gonna throw some flowers at someone? That's not gonna be effective. O Oi, mate. That's not gonna hurt anyone. Fucking hell, this Antifa motherfucker, I mean, yeah, that's gonna be fucking effective. Why don't you use a fucking Molotov cocktail, you fucking piece of shit? Ugh, this is pathetic. This makes no sense. Yeah, okay, Banksy's one of the best artists of modern times. Yeah, yeah, right. Ugh, this piece is just fucking stupid. Let's look at some other old artwork just to cleanse our palate, so to speak. This is Wanderer Above the Sea of Fog by some foreign bloke, and it looks good. The colors are nice, uh, it looks realistic, the lighting and everything, it, good job. It doesn't have some ulterior motive or this deep meaning or anything, this postmodern bullshit. It's fine as it is, which is why it is fine art. It's because it's fine as it is. Why couldn't art stay like this? Well, let's go back in time to see where the roots of this postmodern madness began. Let's go back to the times of Vincent van Gogh. Gogh. Go? Whatever the fuck he was called. This is his most famous piece, Starry Night, and... Come on, this doesn't look realistic at all. 
A child could have drawn this. Ugh, it's just... just looks weird and unnatural. Mates, you should have learned how to draw and how to paint before fucking painting. This is horrible. Why is this a famous painting? I mean, at least it's got colours, at least it is a painting. And it even gets worse from here on. This is Weeping Woman by Pablo Picasso. And Jesus fucking Christ, if I looked like that, I would probably be weeping as well. I would not shag this woman in a million years. That's probably why she's so upset. Nobody wants to sleep with her. And to add insult to injury, Picasso used to be able to draw. This is what his early art looked like, and... Wow, fame really got to his head because he stopped fucking practicing. This is fucking mental. And it gets even worse. This is Fountain by Duchamp, and it's just a fucking toilet. This is an insult. I mean, sure, it makes an interesting statement about the commodification and arbitrary nature of artistic expression and was probably a jab at the culture of the elite class of art critics that existed at the time, but come on, it is a fucking toilet with a name on it. This piece was done by one of my art teacher's favourite artists, Rothko, and there's no wonder why he killed himself, he can't fucking paint. I mean, sure, it has this visceral sort of gloomy, ineffable nature that's hard to put into words, but it doesn't look like anything, it's just some shapes. What is the point of painting anything if it doesn't look like anything? And yeah, I know that not all 20th century art is abstract and doesn't look like anything, but even the stuff that is technically well done looks fucking horrible. This is a painting by H.R. Giger, and ugh, it, it's just, ugh, it's just gross. There's nothing nice about this at all. I mean, it looks, it looks fucking awesome as fuck. It looks fucking metal, but it just doesn't look pretty. It doesn't look aesthetically pleasing, and, and you know what Paul James Franco says? If it does not look aesthetically pleasing, it cannot honestly be called art. So you might be thinking that modern art is a lost cause. It is decadent and self-indulgent. It is merely a vessel to pump postmodernist, cultural Marxist propaganda into our eyes and ears. But what if I told you that there is a chance of redemption? This is a piece by some Japanese artist whose name I can't pronounce, and... Oh, oh fancy that. Um, yeah. The colours are nice, it is crisp and lovely, and... Uh, oh, I might have to study this piece in private later on. Anyway, this has been the SJW Slayer. I hope you stay vigilant and stay rational, and I hope that your taste in art has been improved by my observations. Anyway, where did I save that picture?